by aiding pregnant mothers. Molly Jett talked to two anti-abortion advocates who said the Supreme Court ruling gives them hope for the future. Anti-abortion advocates have been praying for this ruling for years on an issue they've been fighting for for nearly five decades. On June 24th, the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade, the ruling that said Americans had a constitutional right to have an abortion. It's astonishing how my response would be, praise the Lord. Ned uh, Dominic says he wasn't always an anti-abortion activist. My wife introduced me to the whole concept of, of being pro-life and I just discovered that if, if you couldn't, if you weren't alive, then you had no possibility. In the 80s, Dominic says he picketed around Central Georgia's abortion clinics, causing them to close. Then four years ago, he led opposition to a proposed Walnut Street Clinic. This is the slaughter of living children uh, at any level, and it's unbelievable. It's uh, um, barbaric, and I'm so pleased that at least there will be a number of states where there will be a refuge from this kind of slaughter. But Dominic says anti-abortion activists aren't ignoring human suffering. Instead, we want to meet that. I believe that God opened our doors for just such a time as this, that we would be available, that moms would know that we were here to support them. Um, to continue to support them even after their pregnancy. Ann Buell with the Colby Center in Macon says they help pregnant women, providing pregnancy tests, formula, clothes, car seats, and more. It amazes me when we think that there are people who are throwaway. They're not. Every human being is, is brought to this earth for a reason, and we are thankful for the ones that we get to help their mamas make that happen. Dominic says Macon has not had an abortion clinic since 1988, and now they don't have to worry about having another. It's just astonishing. Columbus has them, Savannah has them, of course, Atlanta, of course. Uh, but I think uh, for no longer, which we're so pleased by it. They also told me they hope this will encourage more moms to give up their babies for adoption rather than aborting. In Macon, Molly Jett, 13W, Amazing News.